There you go. Well, the furniture's not new, but it's in pretty good shape. And it's just been steamed. Oh, it's beautiful. Yes, it is. Uh, the uh, morning sun can be pretty intense, especially if you're a night owl like me. No, no, I'm, I'm a morning person. Best light for painting. You're an artist. Well, that's what I'm here to find out. Well, then this place is perfect for you. Quiet building, nice neighborhood. <laughs> well, fairly nice neighborhood, considering the area. Besides, you got me right next door. <laughs> yeah. So, the uh, bathroom is over here behind the stairs, and the uh, bedroom is right upstairs in the loft. Yeah, I'm afraid it is. <clears throat> uh, this uh, used to be a real wood-burning fireplace here, but now it just operates on gas. You know, no fuss, no muss, huh? I'll take it. Great. When would you like to move in? Uh, next week. That soon. OK. Well, you can sign the lease now, and uh, Elaine can sign it tonight. Elaine? Uh, my wife. She's the one who actually owns the building. And uh, I guess I should warn you, she's a bit eccentric. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, she's harmless. It's just that she still thinks it's 1969. You still want to move in? Uh, yeah. Well, then, welcome, neighbor. What's your name? Paige Benedict. Paige. Well, I'm Jonas Loudon. If you need anything, you call me day or night. I think I'll be fine. Thanks. be Jonas's wife. How'd you know that? Lucky guess. <laughs> Elaine Loudon. Uh, Paige Benedict. <laughs> and this is Dew. Far out, he likes you. Oh, boy. <laughs> I named him after the song. The song? You know, me and you and a dog named Do. Well, I think the song is me, you, and a dog named Boo. What? No. Who named their dog Boo? That's a stupid name. Isn't it, baby? Yes, it is. Whoa, that looks like it weighs a ton. <laughs> yeah, it feels like it, too. Well. What are you standing here rapping with me for? Get it inside before it breaks your back. Good idea. Thanks. A grip page, it's only a Ouija board.
Hello? Anybody home? Anybody there? <laughs> Hello? Uh, there's somebody here. Oh my god, these things really work. Uh, <laughs> who are you? S? You? S? A N Susan. Uh, hi, hi, Susan. I'm I'm Paige. <sighs> what are you doing here? A P R O M O. Uh, a promo. Promotion! You, you know about the promotion? What, am I gonna get it? Susan? Sorry. I didn't mean to startle you. Mitch, what are you doing here? Forgot this. I thought you might need it for your CPA exam. And really, Paige, the question is, what are you doing here? I mean, look at this place. It's a dump. It's an artist loft. And living here is going to make you an artist. I am an artist. Why? Because you did a couple drawings when you were a kid? You know, if you really wanted to paint, Paige, you could have just set your stuff up in the garage. You didn't have to move out. You don't understand. Yeah, you're right. I don't understand. Why don't you explain it to me? I tried to. You wouldn't listen. Well, I'm all ears now. Mitch, I can't do this anymore. I'm sorry. You can't do what? Mitch, please! Talk to me, Paige. I can't! Just talk to me, God damn it! Excuse me. Is everything all right in here? Yes, everything's fine. You know, man, maybe you should go find yourself some business or something, because right now you're in mine, okay? Well, actually, this is my business. Uh, um, you see, my sister owns the building, and uh, I'm pretty sure she has a policy against her tenants being harassed. So? So? Uh, you're not really going to make me call the police, are you? Uh, I am the police. You still here? 2505, right? What? Your badge number. I just wanted to make sure I had it right. 
So when I call your superiors, I can tell them what a great job you're doing for public relations down here. Russell Upton. Oh, Paige Benedict. You must have a whole hell of a lot of unpaid parking fines. Oh, and, you know, uh, he's my ex-boyfriend. My books for the Eden account, I, I left them on Henry's desk last night, but he can't find them. Why are you asking me? Well, I, um, you were the last one in there. Uh, George, I'll call you back, okay? What are you accusing me of? Uh, nothing. I, I just, um... Well, you, you know, we're, we're, we're both up for the CPA position, and I... Listen to me, Paige. Do you really think I need to steal your work in order to beat you out of this promotion? I, uh, no. Um, I, I, I don't... No. I guess not. Then why don't you go look for it somewhere else? Hola. Have you met any of the other tenants yet? Uh, no, not yet. What about the guys behind you? You haven't heard any strange noises? Uh, what do you mean? Well, they claim they're just roommates, but I have my doubts. Not that I would say anything, though, because, like, I don't dig gossip. Not like Wanda Asbell. Who? The writer in Unit B never smiles, never sets foot out of her apartment, never has a pleasant thing to say about anybody. You know everyone in this building, don't you? I am the landlady. Did you ever know anyone named Susan? You mean Susan Sidney? I. I don't know. I uh, maybe. It, it, did she used to live here? Two years ago. Why? I found a Ouija board in the closet. Oh! 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 Hi, Paige. Getting settled in okay? Oh, yeah, thanks. Oh, Christ. I'm sorry about that. Uh, it's, it's okay. Listen, I'm the handyman around here, so if you ever need anything, and, and I mean anything, just let me know. Uh, thanks. You're making a fool of yourself, Jonas. Come on. The shower drain is clogged again. It's because you keep washing your goddamn mutt in there. Well, I have to clean him, don't I? Well, hose him off in the backyard. He's a dog, for Christ's sakes. Shh. He's sensitive. You know he doesn't dig being called a Come on, do. Mommy and Daddy are going upstairs. Elaine, you did way too many drugs at Woodstock.
death. Oh, I, I, I'm, I'm so sorry. Oh, God, I'm sorry. Oh, God, that must have hurt. I, 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 don't, I don't know what came over me. Is there anything I can do for you? <gasps> yeah. Kill me. I, I, I don't mean to laugh. Oh, here, come on. There. How are you feeling now? Better? Oh, yeah, yeah. I always welcome new tenants by writhing around in the dust bunnies, groaning in agony. I still can't believe I did that. I, I'm usually not that aggressive. What are you doing down here, anyway? Checking the boiler for leaks. Shouldn't Jonas be doing that? He, he's the handyman, isn't he? <sighs> Unhandyman is more like it. Uh. You've got a great face, you know that? Uh. I'm not coming on to you. I, I'm a photographer. Would you consider posing for me sometime? Oh, <laughs> I don't think so. I I'd be way too self-conscious. OK. I don't want to push it. But uh, here's my card, in case you change your mind. Did Susan Sidney pose for you? You knew Susan? Uh, Elaine mentioned her. Figures. Three forms of mass communication around here. Telephone, telefax, and telelane. <laughs> what was she like? Susan, I mean. Smart, sexy, totally independent, and very tough. She'd have kicked me just like you did, but she never would have apologized. So why were you and Elaine talking about her anyway? I, I found a Ouija board, and I think it might be hers. Probably is. She was really into all that occult stuff. And yes, she did pose for me.
believe I'm doing this. Susan, are you still here? Susan? Uh, Susan, is, is your last name Sydney? And um, this is your Ouija board. Uh, what are you doing here? A. R. T. I. S. T. Artist? <laughs> You're an artist? H. E. L. P. Help? You, you need help, or you mean you're here to help me? Susan? Susan, what do you mean? Who did that? S Susan, what are you doing?
hell do you think you're doing? This is my office, my desk. How dare you come in here like this? And you get out of here before Shut I... Shut the fuck up! If you ever pull a stunt like this again, you're gonna need a calculator to count all the teeth you'll be missing. Paige, it's Mitch. Listen, I think we should talk. Mitch, I'm at work. Well, you, you wouldn't talk to me at your apartment, so... You weren't talking, you were yelling, and, I, and I'm not putting up with it anymore. Damn it, Paige, just listen to what I have... Beautiful, Paige. Beautiful. Now be sexy. This is as sexy as I get. Come on, you're not even trying. It has nothing to do with trying. I'm, I'm just not sexy. I don't believe it. Here, lick your lips. I said lick them, not swallow them. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I just feel silly. That's because you're posing. Try to be more natural. Pretend I'm not here. Oh, easier said than done. OK. Then forget the camera. Just talk. Tell me about yourself. What do you want to know? Whatever you want to tell me. OK, I'm, I'm an only child, born and raised on a farm in Indiana. My parents were very old-fashioned and very strict. I could have guessed that much. How come? You dress like Mary Poppins. I beg your pardon. Perfect. See, there's a natural pose. Good enough for my driver's license, I'm sure. So how long have you been interested in art? Oh, God, as long as I can remember. When the other little girls were playing jump rope, I was doing charcoal sketches. Then how'd you end up an accountant? Well, I wanted to go to art school and become a painter, but my father wanted me to go to college and study business. He said a career in art <laughs> was too risky. So he compromised. I went to college and studied business. You always do what your father wants? <laughs> Until he died last year. And then I decided to do what I want, move out here and become a painter. So what happened? Uh, I met Mitch and uh, fell into the same doormat relationship I had with my father. And he convinced you to give up painting? <laughs> well, it didn't take much. I hadn't drawn anything in four years. I don't know, so it's like I have writer's block or something. And I'm not very good at confrontation. At least not until today. What happened today? I don't know. I guess I just got tired of always playing it safe. Is that what made you change your mind about posing? Jonas, he's had an accident. What? How? The boiler. I begged him to stop drinking. I begged him. He must have been drunk out of his mind. She said it looked like he hit the boiler room door with every tool he had. Where's Do? Where's my dog? I'm sure he's, fine. Says he's probably in the apartment somewhere. Help me find okay, him. Okay, okay. <laughs>
coming in today? Um, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm really not, not feeling that, that good, Hen Henry. Uh, I think I'm getting the flu or something. Oh, well, that explains it then. I figured it had to be something pretty serious in order for you to miss a day of work. Uh, yeah, you know, <laughs> I'm, s I'm sorry I, I didn't call. I slept right through my alarm. No, 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 I understand. Um, uh, you just get well quick, okay? Yeah, okay, yeah, th thanks, I will. Paige, it's me. What do you want? Well, I heard about the accident here yesterday, and I wanted to make sure that uh, you were all right. May I come in, please? No, I came over here because I wanted to make sure that you were all right. I was worried. You did this? Yeah, so? Oh, it's, it's great. You really think so? Hell yes, I think so. Paige, when you told me that you wanted to paint, I had absolutely no idea that you were capable of... I guess I wasn't very supportive, was I? Right. Well, I, I, I should go. I've got to watch. Uh, Mitch? Could you do me a favor? Name it. A woman named Susan Sidney. She used to live here about two years ago. Could you find out how she died? What for? Okay. Might take a couple of days. Okay. Thanks. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. The Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. Rest in peace, Brother John. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. You're welcome. You okay? Yeah. I'm glad you came. You look great, by the way. Thanks. I didn't see Elaine anywhere. She hasn't accepted it yet. I suppose it'll take time. More than you know. Her parents died in 69. That's why she's stuck there. Russell, I'm sorry. It was a long time ago. I was just a kid. Luckily, we inherited a lot of property. Got us through the tough times. Well, if there's anything I can do, you let me know. Thanks. Actually, she's better off without him. He was a drunk and a cheat. Russell! What? You're gonna tell me he never made a pass at you? Oh, uh, uh, well, um, I suppose. You suppose? 
Trust me. He went after anything in a skirt. Poor Lane. She doesn't know. <laughs> How could she not know? She lives in her own little world. Reality very rarely intrudes. Do you think Jonas had an affair with Susan Sidney? I know he did. That's how she paid her rent. And Elaine never knew? I made sure she didn't. And Jonas sure wasn't going to tell her. So how'd she die? Who? Well, Susan, of course. Susan's not dead. She moved. I made Jonas kick her out. What? Are you? I know you're here. Answer me, goddammit! You're not Susan Sidney, are you? Okay. If you are Susan, how did you die? M. U. R. D. E. R. Murder? You were murdered? No. I don't believe you. Russell says Susan's still alive. R. I. F. L. E. C. A. P. E. Rifle cape? What's that supposed to mean? Susan, what does it mean? Susan, I can't help you unless you tell me what you want. Hello? Paige. Hey, listen, I got that info you wanted. But there is no death certificate on file for a Susan Sidney anywhere. You sure she's dead? No. Okay, well, uh, I'm gonna run a trace and see if I can find out if she's moved and where. And I should have the information for you by tonight, okay? Hello? You still there? Uh, yeah, um... I gotta go, Mitch. Okay. That's it. I'm through with you, whoever you are. This thing is going out with tonight's garbage. <laughs> Are you sure you're all right? Maybe we should call a doctor. No, I'm, I'm fine. I, I just fainted. Oh, you did more than that. You, you, you scream like you were having a bad acid flashback. What's going on, Paige? When did you paint this? What do you guys know about Ouija boards? Not much. I mean, supposedly ghosts can spell out messages with that pointer thing, right? Do you believe that? No. I figure it's probably just your own subconscious. How about you? Last week, I would have said no. It, it's only a game like checkers or chess. But now I... I believe it. You do? I'm not the only one, Russell. Lots of people believe in spirits and that you can reach them with a Ouija board. You can. I, I, I mean, I have. I've been in contact with a spirit 
since the day I moved in. It claims to be Susan Sidney. But Susan isn't dead. Well, how do you know that? I, you haven't seen her in two years, right? That's why I've been painting again. Susan, help me. What are you talking about? Susan was an exotic dancer. What? Susan wasn't an artist? A con artist, maybe. Well, there's only one way to find out for sure. Susan? You are Susan. Are you here? Susan? Ladies, this is really weird. Cool, Russell. But I feel stupid. Well, so did I at first. That's due. Susan must be close by. Susan, is that you? And you still claim to be Susan Sidney. Then you know these people with me. Good. They want to ask you some questions. No? Why not? You are Susan Sidney, right? You. T. T. O. W. N. Uptown? Uptown? Susan, what's uptown? You? Two. One. Seven. P. A. R. K. W. O. Oh, D. Whoa. 217 Parkwood. It's an address. Susan? Is that where you were murdered? Come on, guys. This is not Susan. Then what's your middle name? When's your birthday? Where are you from originally? She's getting agitated. Why? Because she can't answer the lightning round? Well, maybe she's just confused. Oh, I'm sure death is very disoriented. Shut up, Russell. You're, you're upsetting her. Upsetting who? This is not Susan. this at all. I'm splitting. That was incredible. Maybe you shouldn't use this thing anymore. in the side table. See if you can find Parkwood Street. You sure you want to do this? Yeah. Listen, yeah, there is absolutely no paper on this Susan Sidney at all. So what does that mean? Well, it means that when she moved from there, she never reestablished a new address, not with uh, the phone company, the post office, none of the utilities. Well, that's unusual, isn't it? Uh, well, not if she moved out of state. She could have moved in with somebody here who just has all the utilities in his own name. Mitch, what's a rifle cape? I have no idea. It's not part of a gun or something? No. Okay, uh... I can't find Parkwood Street anywhere. What?
Um, Mitch, do you know where 217 Parkwood Street is? Never heard of it. Oh, you must have. It's uptown somewhere. No. Not unless... Unless what? Well, you sure you're not talking about Park Woods? Park Woods? Right. The woods outside the city limits near the interstate. Yes, yes, that, that must be it. Thanks, Mitch. I gotta go. What's up? Are there any shovels in the basement? You know, if I were to list every stupid stunt I've ever pulled in my entire life, this would rate in the top two. We don't even know what we're looking for. I think this is where Susan was killed and buried. Oh, man, I have a bad feeling about this. So where do we start? She said 217 Park Woods. That must mean something. <laughs> What do you think we're gonna find a sign that says 217 and a big X that marks the spot? I don't know, Russell. It's a mystery. If you don't want to help me figure it out, fine. But I've spent my entire life playing it safe. I'm sick of it. Now I need to do this. Not just for Susan, but for me. What was that? It's footsteps. Someone else is here. Or something. We're in the woods, Paige. It could be a bear or a cat. Let's get the hell out of here. What the hell are you two doing here? Mitch, something's chasing us. All right, go to the car. I'll check it out. No, come on. Paige, just do what I'm asking you to, okay? Come on, Paige. Let him play dirty hand. Huh? Who's there? Here's your boogie man. Have you both completely lost your minds? Huh? Us? You're the one who just shot Rocky. Hey, listen, chucklehead. Now is not the time for you to impress me with your wit. You understand? Mitch. No, Paige, you don't even know this guy. What are you doing out in the middle of nowhere with him? She invited me. The question is, what are you doing out here? I was looking for Paige. I was worried about her. Yeah? Yeah. How do you know it wasn't you chasing us back there? What? Maybe you're trying to scare her? Get her to move back in? Your charm sure isn't gonna do it. Stop it! Both hey, of you're you! you brave with that gun. Yeah, you want me to get rid of it? Yeah, give it to me! Shut Come on, I'm taking you home. Are you asking me or telling me? I'm asking you. Please. I'll call you tomorrow, okay?
What's happening to you, Paige? What do you mean? Well, look at the way you're dressed. What about it? It's not you. Tonight's the first time I've ever heard you swear, ever. Since when did you notice anything I said? Or wanted, or cared about? I noticed. I'm not an idiot, Paige. I knew you were unhappy, I just... I don't know, I was afraid to mention it to you because I thought you would leave. But I left anyway. Oh, I didn't say it was a good plan. It really hurt me when you left. And you know how I get when I'm hurt. I'm angry and nasty. That doesn't mean that I don't care about you. I know. I want you to move back in. I can't. Why not? There's this Russell character. I suppose he's the sensitive type. Knows exactly what you need. I don't even know exactly what I need. I know what you're thinking. You've never seen a Jewish occultist before. Not to worry, I'm not orthodox. First thing you got to understand is that spirits are all around us, all the time. But they can't reach us without some kind of help. Like the Ouija board. Correct. When you use the Ouija, you open a door, and the spirits can step through. So that's how she was able to break my mirror because we were using the Ouija. Right. No Ouija, no broken glass. Couldn't that be dangerous? Sure. You get an evil spirit. Naive. You could have furniture and silverware flying all over the place. Spirit of yours, she was murdered. Yes, how, how, how did you know that? They all say that. Being dead must be real dull, because they love to talk to us. But they know we won't talk to them if they're just some boring schmuck who died from old age. So they say they were murdered. I guess even in the spirit world, sex and violence sells. So what are you saying? All spirits are liars? To a degree, yeah. What's a rifle cape? You got me. It isn't some spiritual term of some kind? Not that I know of. Are you sure she didn't misspell it? Is that possible? Are you kidding? Spirits are terrible spellers. Their communication skills in general leave a lot to be desired. Look, assuming that all this stuff isn't just a bunch of mumbo jumbo, how can we be sure the spirit really is who it says it is? You're not sure. Did you know her when she was alive? I did. 
I got just the thing. For you. What is it? An automatic <laughs> writer. You use it just like a regular planchette. But you put it on a sketch pad in, instead of a Ouija. And you stick a pen in this hole. Then this uh, Susan of yours will actually have to write out her messages. Well, what good is that? If it's really her, it'll be her handwriting, not yours. That's incredible. <laughs> when did they come up with this? What's today, the fifth? About 2,000 years ago. They actually predate Ouija boards. Been around since at least 540 BC, which makes them only slightly older than my mother-in-law. You got any other questions? Read this. So as soon as we get back, see if you can find a sample of Susan's handwriting. <sighs> Can't wait to use this. Maybe you should read the book first, find out what you're doing. <sighs> you read the book, I know what I'm doing. What's the big hurry? Why can't you wait one lousy day? What for? What for? Paige, look at yourself. You're obsessed with that Ouija board. Russell, why do you even care? You don't even believe in it. No, I don't. You were there, Russell. You saw the pointer move with your own eyes. It was your subconscious. Or Elaine's. Or maybe even mine. So whose subconscious shattered the mirror? I don't know. But there's a logical explanation somewhere. Yes. Susan Sidney's dead, and she wants me to find her body. Promise me you won't use the Ouija or the writer till I read this book, okay? Okay, Mom, I promise.
Paige, it's Mitch. Listen, I think I found your friend, Susan Sidney. You're kidding, where? Well, it seems a couple of years ago, Park Woods was gonna be developed into tract homes. The plans fell through, but not before they subdivided the land into lots, and one of the lots is number 217. Oh, Mitch, that's great. Yeah, well, I'm gonna head out there right now. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll meet you there. No, listen, it's police business. If there's a body out there, you're out of it, as of now. You got it? <laughs> Wait a minute, I was the one who... No, no buts, Paige. And I mean it, okay? Okay, but you call me as soon as you find something. I will. Bye. Susan? Susan, are you here? Susan? Susan, I have good news. Mitch found your body. He's driving out there right now. Stop. Isn't that what you want? Susan? Susan, what do you want?
up out of it. Oh. Oh. oh, what happened? You had to use it, didn't you? You just couldn't wait. Oh, please, no lectures. Still feeling a little faint? It's nothing. No, it's not. I've been reading this book on Ouija's, and it scared the hell out of me. Do you know what they used to be called? Before this century? Witch boards. Yeah, witches used them to contact demons. <sighs> Remember when I said you were obsessed? Well, I was right. According to this book, when you use the Ouija alone, like you've been doing, you're very susceptible to the spirit you contact. At first, they'll be helpful and friendly, so we can get you to use the board over and over. And each time you do, he gets stronger and you get weaker. Soon you're so weak, you have to use it whether you want to or not. <laughs> What are you telling me? I'm a Ouija junkie? It's no joke, Paige. It's called progressive entrapment, and it gets worse. After you're addicted, the spirit changes. He starts to threaten and terrorize you, breaking down your resistance like brainwashing. So eventually, he can possess you. Why would Susan want to possess me? It's not Susan. Yes, it is. Look, she lost this when she was killed. This could be anybody's. It's Susan's! Oh, yeah. Here, take a look at this. What is it? Susan's lease agreement. Compare the S's in her signature to the S and stop. It doesn't match. No, it doesn't. Well, then who the fuck is it? It doesn't matter who it is. Or what it is. You have to stop using the Ouija and the automatic writer right now. Russell, I'm not falling into progressive entrapment. Oh, no? Here, let me, let me read you some of the symptoms. Feigning spells. Aggression. Excessive use of profanity. Overtly sexual provocative behavior. Sound like anyone you know. Russell, what am I going to do? I'm glad you asked. Here, take these and uh, toss them in the dumpster. Should I take the earring no. too? No, I'll hold on to it. Good night, Paige. I'll call you tomorrow. Mitch's friend, right? What? Where? Yeah, yeah, thanks. Okay.
Russell. Elaine, something wrong? You tell me. What do you mean? You forged that lease agreement you showed to Paige. What are you talking about? I found the real one. Look, the S's all match perfectly. It really is Susan's spirit, isn't it? I think so. And I think she caused Jonas' accident. Elaine, wait! I know you're not Susan. So what the hell do you want from me? I know you're here. What do you want from me? Answer me, goddammit! What do you want? Mitchell, what are you doing out of bed? I'm checking out. But Dr. Delano hasn't released you.
Russell? Paige! We need to go back to Park Woods. I know where Susan's buried now, and I know how she died. The only thing I don't know is why she said the woods were uptown when they're actually out by the interstate. I thought you were gonna stop using the Ouija. I don't think I can. You were right, I've fallen into progressive entrapment. God damn it, why couldn't you just leave it alone? Russell, what's the matter with you? Why are you so angry? She wasn't saying uptown. She misspelled Upton. You said you inherited property. Park Woods? You murdered Susan. Paige. Stay away from me! Let me explain. Open the door and let me tell you what happened. Susan? Susan, I need your help! No! Don't use the Ouija! Got you, scumbag. Drop the pickaxe. We have to stop her. Like you stopped Susan Sidney? I didn't kill Susan. Elaine did. She must have found out about her affair with Jonas. Yeah, right. You just helped her hide the body, didn't you? No, that was Jonas! I didn't know anything about it! I really thought Susan moved! Sure you did. Paige! Come on out here, babe. Everything's under control. Listen to me. Susan came back for revenge, to kill Jonas and Elaine. But now I think she wants more. She wants her life back, and she's gonna possess Paige unless we stop her. Possess Paige? What the hell are you talking about, man? Paige! Who the hell are you? of you to drop by.
What's with the gun, Russell? Aren't you happy to see me? <laughs> <laughs> you can't kill me. I'm already dead. Nothing against you. After all, Elaine's the one who killed me. Just let me walk out of here and we'll call it even. I can't. I can't do that. You don't have a choice. You shoot me, you shoot Paige. And it would be a shame to put a hole in such a nice body when I just got it. It is a nice body, isn't it? Not as nice as mine, but then I was a dancer. You were a bitch. And you still are. But you wanted me anyways. Didn't you? And you wanted Paige. Put the gun down, Russell. And you can have us both at the same time. <laughs> Come on, Russell. It's not every day you get a chance to fuck a ghost. Stay back. I mean it. Evening, Officer Mitchell. Where is she? Well, tell me where she is, Miss Page. Tell me where she is, you little bitch. Where is she? <laughs> right here, Officer Mitchell. Midge, help me, please. Page? <laughs> Seven years bad luck. Thank <laughs> you. 
Don't tell me you're having second thoughts about moving. <laughs> no. <laughs> now that Susan's body has finally been found and laid to rest, I'm ready to move on with my life. And I'm definitely going to go to art school this time, and nothing is going to stop me. So can I call you once you're settled in? You'd be insulted if you didn't. You should know by now I'm not so easy to get rid of. <laughs> Who says I want to get rid of you? So, you and Linda finally had that baby, huh? Yeah. Boy, named him Brandon. Yeah, <laughs> right, Jim. Hey, look at this. What? It, it looks like uh, one of those, you know, the pointer things to a Ouija board. Oh, man, those things give me the creeps. Look, this one's got a pen in it. Huh, you can actually write with it. Mike, come on, put it back. We gotta go. You don't think these things really work, do you? <laughs> 